country so much to the tune of about 300 billion every year. Uh, Okay, uh, now the COVID-19 pandemic continues to bite even as the number of death-related cases keeps on rising. The National Muslim COVID-19 Response Committee has convened today at the Jamia Mosque in Nairobi to analyze the progress made so far and re-strategize on how to handle the pandemic within uh, the Islamic society moving forward. KTNU Saad Hassan is there and now joins us live with an update. Good afternoon, Saad. Great to see you. How is the progress so far? Good afternoon, Grace. Well, so far, so good. The, the response committee has said uh, that uh, several measures have been put in place and they have actually uh, brought out fruit because uh, most of the people are adhering to it. This is basically in Nairobi, but if you look at areas like uh, northern region, that is uh, uh, within Wajir, Marsabit, people are still not doing so well because most still think that this pandemic is a joke. And uh, most, one of the questions that is mostly asked is, do you know someone who uh, has been infected by the virus. So that is the bigger problem that the committee has raised today. It has said that uh, so far it has been able to uh, facilitate uh, some of the burial uh, proceedings uh, of the Muslim, uh, from the Muslim society and it has done quite well. In fact, uh, some of the people from the Hindu community are now looking forward to the Muslim Response Committee to, to help them in a burial of their loved ones. So, so far, so good, but there's still a big uh, issue that has to be addressed and that is behavioral change and that is uh, what they're looking forward to do. We'll be updating you more in subsequent briefings.